Tell me about McMichael Park. Well, I've always had a, a, a just a fairly firm rule about letting people honor me, particularly on any sort of building or edifice. I let a few people name scholarships in my honor, and I think that's good because it helps educate kids. <clears throat> but I have a stri strict rule against buildings or edifices or anything. But one day in my waning days as mayor, my neighbors from East Falls came to me and said, look, we'd like to name something after you because you're the first mayor from East Falls in the city's history. And that would be nice. And I said, well, gee, I never thought about that. And I, uh, What are you thinking of? And they said, McMichael Park. And I said, no, no, we can't change the name of McMichael Park because he was a mayor too. They said, oh, no, no, we don't want to change the name of the park, but the big oak tree in the middle, we'd like to put a plaque there designating that you were the first mayor from East Falls. I thought that was a little fairly unobtrusive thing, and they were so earnest that I wanted to honor, to let them, you know, do what they wanted to do. So I said yes, and we went there for the ceremony, and they had put a wonderful plaque on the base of this big oak tree in the middle of McMichael Park, which is one of our community parks. One of the beauties of East Falls is there, there's a lot of greenery. They put this beautiful bronze plaque in, and it said, in honor of Edward G. Rendell, first mayor from East Falls, it was a lovely ceremony, and I was very pleased. About a month later, my, my two dogs, at that time Mandy and Ginger, we normally walk in the park that's at the Philadelphia University among the campus. It's a beautiful green area. But that day, I was a little curious about my plaque, so we trundled up to McMichael Park, and as we were getting closer to the tree, I saw a queue of dogs, and they were just looked like buying tickets to a movie to get in. And as I got closer, I realized what was happening. The dogs were all male dogs, and they were all taking a piss on the plaque. And I inquired about this later, and literally the day after the ceremony, some bulldog, I think, you know, relieved himself on the plaque, and it must have left a scent, and I was told it was an incredibly attractive target for all the male dogs in the area. And the sad part is the plaque was four weeks old and it had turned from that beautiful bronze color to a sort of sickly yellow, you know, like a urine stained yellow. So I resolved from that moment on never, ever again to have anything named after me. Did you take it personally, like the dogs were sending a message? No, I'm a great dog lover, so it didn't, it didn't bother me. But again, it showed me the wisdom, like Brendan Byrne. My friend, who was a great governor of New Jersey, he developed the Meadowlands and they named the indoor arena after him. Well, the good news is Brendan Burns lived a long and fruitful life. The bad news is he lo lived long enough to see them take the name Brendan Byrne off the arena. They sold it to Continental Airlines for money. How do you humiliate him to have your name taken off a building that it was on and you did nothing wrong? <laughs> so I think the, uh, uh, the chapter in the book is please, please don't honor me. And I think that's a good lesson for most elected officials.